I will talk to you guys today about the difference between conceptual innovation and experimental innovation, which is an idea by the economist David Galenson and popularized by Malcolm Gladwell in the season one of Revisionist History. Now, conceptual innovators are people who are precise about their idea. They think, they plan, and they execute. And boom, you have this idea, project, concept, artwork, music piece that comes out in a really short period of time. Experimental innovators are never precise about what their goals are. They're never happy about what they're producing. And out of this unsatisfactory, um, this, this, this sense of, I suppose, a level of failure, they labor over their work tirelessly, tirelessly, day in, day out, endlessly. And for one product design, house, project, they might experiment with about 200 different ways to get about, to come arrive at this conclusion. Now I personally identify with the experimental innovators. I find joy and I labor and I'm imprecise about what the goal might be and as a result I go through and I find hundreds of different ways and concepts to arrive at perhaps a final design. Now one of the things I want to add is this. With the arrival of technology I believe that like for me as an experimental innovator technology closes the gap so I can experiment but still execute like a conceptual innovator. I can go, I can, I can have 20, 30 different ideas, 3D print it, go home, have a rest, and tomorrow morning come back, come back in and literally have my 20 different ideas product printed out for me so I can then go and execute on this. So my question for you is this: are you a conceptual innovator or are you an experimental innovator? And have you found technology closing the expertise gap and time gap and labor gap for you as well? Comment below, I'd love to know what you think.